A parliamentary commission in Turkey has approved a proposed bill to remove prosecution immunity from the country's lawmakers. The Constitutional Commission meeting was interrupted when scuffles broke out between MPs from the PKK-linked HDP and the ruling AK Party. 136 MPs who currently have criminal proceedings against them could face prosecution if it passes. Now, the HTP says the bill is directed at them and is a political attempt to diminish their power within Parliament. The General Assembly will now debate and vote on the bill, which is expected to pass. Well, the legislation was proposed by the ruling ACT Party, which holds 317 seats in Parliament. 27 of its MPs currently face criminal charges. The main opposition, CHP, has 133 seats, and 51 of its MPs face similar charges. And the HDB, which is linked to the PKK terror group, has 59 seats. 50 of its members have accusations against them. Finally, the fourth party in the Turkish parliament is the nationalist MHP with 40 seats. Seven of its MPs have also been investigated. Well, joining me now for more on this is the Turkish politics expert Omar Aslan. He's joining us from Ankara. So, Omar, good to speak to you today on TRT World. Just explain to us, first of all, what this immunity in Turkish law is. Um, thanks for having me for in the first place. Uh, the parliamentary immunity in Turkey is, as in many other democracies, is that it provides the parliamentarians to provide their uh, free speech, their opinions on various issues on Turkish politics. And as long as they are uh, within the parliament and they are under duty in the parliament for the four, for four years, uh, they cannot be held accountable or responsible for their speech and for their actions. But only after their uh, their duty ends and in the parliament only after that they can be uh, held accountable for their actions but under uh, the uh, immunity law they cannot be held responsible as long as they are in the parliament and omar this is uh, this is things they say within parliament or outside because in the uk you obviously have a similar privilege uh, that you can say things in parliament that you couldn't get away with saying outside of parliament yeah Um, that I mean, it mean the the, the privilege uh, of uh, immunity is that um, they uh, not only within the parliament, but as long as they are MPs for the four-year period, uh, they cannot be held responsible for their actions. The prosecutors uh, can file claims against them for that for that period, but only after that uh, they can be held responsible and they can go to courts and so on. This is the uh, uh, basic meaning of the immunity, but. That, of course, is now being changed for the uh, current MPs mm -hmm. and their uh, various actions from um, slander against the president and uh, their help and different ways and means of assistance to the PKK, the terrorist organization in Turkey. And that is the basic uh, I mean, point of discussion in Turkey right now. Absolutely. And as we mentioned, more than 100 MPs currently have criminal proceedings against them. What are those kind of accusations that they face? Um, they range from, again, like, as, like I said, um, slanders against president, for example, for, the, for some of the at least uh, CHP uh, members, members of parliament. And others range from, and most important and most critically, the HDP members who are uh, blamed for helping in different ways, actually, uh, to uh, terrorist organization, the PKK, and the ongoing, as you can imagine, I mean, that creates a lot of controversy and discussion among the people as well uh, because of the struggle and the fight against that organization uh, in Turkey Southeast especially and also not only Southeast but also in the major cities with the bombings and suicide bombings and all that. Absolutely. Well, uh, Omar Aslan, we have to leave it there unfortunately but thanks very much for joining us on TRT World.